Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here, and today I'm like a math teacher for today. I want to clarify a misunderstanding that I see a lot in the comment section. Whenever I talk about fuel usage, a lot of people don't seem to understand the value of fuel and why it makes a difference. So the biggest misconception that I'm seeing today, like in a lot of comments and a lot of people in the community as well, uh, a lot of people think that using fuel today versus tomorrow is the same thing and there's no difference if you keep it now or use it because of this like passive income. So for example, we see this level, this uh, a chart here where let's say this is like time in the, uh, the horizontal axis and this is like trailblaze level. So this black dotted line is when you hit trailblaze level 40 to farm the gold tier relics. This red line is like people who just use the, the this uh, feel ASAP, get to here and just continue the passive income. So a lot of people think that uh, based on this is actually these dumb savers that I just put it in just for, for fun. I didn't want to know what the name is. I was bored also doing this very math uh, kind of graph. So in terms of this graph here, you can see that a lot of people are arguing that this passive income here of like passive relics is way more than or, or maybe even equivalent to what you get in this spike here if you save all the way to 40 and use it later. I just want to clarify a little bit on this and uh, clarify this misunderstanding. So the biggest part in terms of what people forget is actually the factor of time. Well, this component is highly, uh, a lot of people don't really uh, uh, think about this when they're talking about using the fuel and that is the daily quest that is given every day a lot of people just think about the fuel that you get from per day basis so technically one energy you get is always the same but that is not quite right because actually you get more exp from daily quest per day than you actually get from the daily uh, energy restoration rate we get about uh, every six minutes we get about one energy and in a day we have 24 hours and 24 for example we multiply that by 60 and for example, we just multiply 24 by 60. This is the number of minutes in a day. We just take this, we divide it by the time it takes to get one energy. This is how much energy we get in a daily basis. And for example, if we take this number here and divide it by one run, multiplied by 50, the EXP get, we get for the number of runs, we actually only get 1,200 uh, EXP per day from the daily energy that we get. So actually, by dragging out the time longer, we get more components from the daily quest in terms of factoring in our overall Trailblaze EXP. Some of you might be starting to get why, where I'm coming from, and I think it's easier if we explain it in terms of a bit more a diagram, diagrammatic point of view. So let's just say in terms of like the, the, the how it looks like, right? It, you will reach around like 74K total EXP, you will get to, for example, a Trailblaze level 40. This excludes quests, which are like non-renewable EXP resource. So we're just talking about the gradient of the graph in terms of how much we get on a daily basis. These are like recurring that we get every day. Quest, once you're done with it, you're done. Quests basically bring this number down to a smaller amount, assuming that everyone clears their quests like the moment the game starts uh, before you hit Trailblaze 40, clear all the quests kind of thing. So then this number, of course, will be down. This really talks about gradient. Quests are non-renewable source of EXP. So in a sense, uh, based on this graph that we can see and we plot a chart all the way up to the 74,000 uh, EXP mark in terms of Trailblaze uh, experience, we actually see that uh, a person who only just does quests and just does the passive energy, doesn't even cap on energy, will take around 27 days in total to hit Trailblaze level 40. Of course, in reality, we know a lot of us are hitting a lot earlier because the, this graph is put forward by a lot of quests and some people maybe even use like one or two uh, refreshers in terms of exchanging premium currency over to refreshers as well. So so these numbers in isolation makes no sense, but let's factor in two situations right here and I'll explain a, a, a bit about it as well. So I took some time to actually off work, took leave just to make this graph. I just, I was really wanting to teach the community in terms of a little bit of mathematics as well. So in terms of this chart here, as we can see, this red line are the people that use the fuel. Basically are people who use one day a day of fuel. So what I'm doing is just one fuel, uh, one fuel usage is 300 EXP. And I just take it as day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. This person is just using fuel every day. And this is like the cumulative total amount of EXP. Green, as we can see here, is daily quest, which is what people are not factoring. And a passive daily energy is what we get, like, you know, when the countdown in terms of how much energy we get uh, restored every six minutes and stuff like that. So as we can see here, if this green part never existed, then I would say yes. The people who are saying that uh, this fuel doesn't matter today or tomorrow is the same is exactly true. But as we can see here, daily quest EXP actually makes up a very significant proportion of the total EXP that we get. And what this means is a person who actually uses one fuel a day for 24 days in a row, they will get to Trailblaze level 42, uh, three days in advance. There's a miss calculation here so it's like three days in advance 24 you will hit trailblaze level 40 versus someone who doesn't use uh, 24 fuels 
he will hit he or she will hit trailblaze level 40 three days later uh, what this means is basically you get about three days advantage of passive energy ahead of people and it's about six domain runs a day so you basically get six domain runs ahead of someone who saved up all the way at 24. if you just save your fuel and you use it at at 27 you'll be getting 24 times uh three over two which means you get roughly around 36 fuel runs at, uh, at, to get the gold tier. So this guy is getting 18 worth of gold artifacts, whereas you are getting double if you just save to 27. And if you guys saw my latest video where I talk about Trailblaze 50, even possibly dropping two, this compounds on top of that. So the differential is gonna be like way larger in terms of the amount of fuel, the value of this fuel. And really, I do think that a lot of people are just forgetting this daily quest EXP. This makes up a bulk of it, and you want to actually have a lot of your time of this daily quest EXP allocated to the lower efficiency resources. So it's like, you think of it like a bubble, like you want to fill up the bubble, like the lower tier rewards with as much useless stuff as possible. So you want to do all your quests, your nonsense that are non-renewable, doesn't give you much uh, energy benefits there. And very little proportion of that bubble, you want to actually allocate it to fuel and energy. And once let's say you pump up and then you continue this graph, you actually get better re uh, results based on this fuel. And of course, you will only get the best deal uh, all the way at the end when it's at uh, like triple 60 or 65. But I think that brings me to like two more points that a lot of people are talking about which this is the part where I kind of agree but I want to also give my thoughts and Im uh, impressions on it why there's no need to rush really for these additional rewards for most of us especially if you are clearing you're spending this uh, fuel because your logic is you want to get more relics you want to clear the memory of chaos quicker as well to get more resources I don't forget um, in my perspective I refresh every single day I spend 100 USD in terms of max refreshing buying all the paid items from the shop I clear with free to play units granted I could have been much higher if I claimed with my E6 characters but I refuse to I'm a free to play content creator and as you can see I just entered the, the memory chaos I haven't uh, gone into grind since I leveled up I'm just busy making more content as well but if let's say we only have 6 days left if people that are rushing for time and 6 days left what rewards does it give in terms of here we get like a couple of uh, 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 premium currency this is this is nice sure thing but if you are already spending these premium currencies to refresh for energy that kind of like offsets right in order to get like the max amount you have to refresh this amount of times is it worth it to like what's the break even point that's the question and of course you some might say that you get these free uh, rewards as well in terms of this exp but arguably i think this is like one domain run you can get like one domain run you probably get this this is like not even one domain run and this is like, a, it's not even a single domain, right? It's like 1,000. This is like one purple gear also. So what is the, what's the value in terms of clearing? Can we actually clear all the way up to 10 in terms of full stars within six days? Because if we can't clear all the way in six days, then the people who are just like waiting and just passively going along, this cycle repeats every 15 days. So if you don't get the max rewards in six days time, or at least up to like eight in terms of max stars, you're actually running at quite a huge deficit rather if you just waited, because you will be playing in the same cycle 15 days later, all of the people who don't reset are now like in the this memory of chaos all together with us. So I think that is like the key uh, biggest value. Of course, if you are a whale, you want to get as much resource as you can, I agree. Like if myself, I'm a content creator, I need these resources, I will have to push before the day ends as well. But for most people, it just makes no sense. The second reason, which I think is the best solid reason why you should use your fuel, and I talked about it already on the channel. So it's not as if I tell you never use your fuel, it's ridiculous, right? But if let me just go into the forgotten how and show you. I think the biggest exception in terms of like when to use your fuel, as I talked about previously on my when to use your fuel video, I give good advice in all these videos because I already done the math. And in terms of all of these things, this is the only exception where you want to use your fuel early because of these immersifier rewards. But this is only if you're like Trailblaze 29 going to 30, you can use like one or two fuel, you will break even because it gives you four of these tokens per week which you can do the, the calculation, it will help you break even as well. But thereafter, like uh, going into 40, going to 50, these immersifiers, as you can see here, don't change. This is, of course, at the Trailblaze level 40 rewards. I don't see the 50 one yet. I have to wait for the week to reset as well. But yeah, those are my thoughts in terms of the math. I laid it out for you guys. If you don't agree or uh, disagree, agree, just leave a comment below. I'll be happy to read it. But hopefully this clarifies a lot of doubt that you guys are having as well. And if you appreciate such content, do leave me a like and subscribe for more of such future videos. It's just a very impromptu one that I wanted to give some clarity and light based on what I know as well. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.